This is I here. Today we are going to be talking about decimals and percents. Decimal and percents are found everywhere in nature. Um, actually, well, man-made nature. For example, you'll see this all the time. Um, um, for example, this. How many times have you seen this? Money and there's decimals. So you see decimals all the time. Um, like for example, hey, how much is that cheesecake? 7-Eleven. Um, well, that's preposterous. That cheesecake is far too expensive. It's Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, then other things, all the time, you'll see, like, for example, when you're looking in, like, the mall, you might see this. Um, hey, that T-shirt is 25% off. Um, so you kind of you see percents all the time. We see decimals all the time. Um, but when it comes to decimal and percent math, people kind of shy away from it because, again, like fractions, um, you have to remember all these rules and craziness um, things. Now, here's the deal. I want to just real quickly talk about today how to go from decimals to percents and from percents to decimals um, with a couple examples. And hopefully this will jog your memory on how this actually works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first of all, or first things first. First of all, first, I'm trying to make up new things. You can't do that. All right, here we go. Um, so for example, if I have 51%, okay, and I want to change that to a decimal. So these problems, like for example, I'm just going to go from percent to decimal. Um, I have to remember one little rule, okay? First of all, you have to think of 51% as a whole number. 51 is, well, percent is just 51. Um, and you have to know where that decimal place would go by itself. Now, think of $51. Where would $51 decimal place go? It would go right here after the one, okay? Woo, colors. Um, now, 51 point what? Well, usually there's just zeros following. We just don't usually write them, okay? Now, to go from a percent to a decimal, we are going to have to move the decimal place two times to the left, okay? So let's move that one, two, okay? And then those two places, once we moved it to the left, um, signifies where the decimal should hang out for the decimal form, okay? So if I want to write this as a decimal, 51% is really just point five one, okay? Um, and just to be cool, um, I'm going to put a zero out front because we don't usually let like points kind of be in front or the decimal point in the front. We kind of always want a zero there first. So 0 0.51, all right, is the decimal equivalent of 51%. Let's try another one real quick. Um, so say, for example, we have 1.4% and I want to go ahead and put that into its decimal form, okay? So take the decimal point. Uh, we're going to move it two to the left, okay? And that means the decimal play point is now here. Now, it's really, really like um, people really want to just go ahead and say, oh, that's just 0.14, yay, because it's out front. But really, when you moved it two spaces to the left, you need to create a space here because it kind of just moved like into space. You can't just say it's just 0.14. So anytime you create space here, like we did here, you're gonna to wanna to add a zero. A zero is a placeholder um, and pretty much just shows you the, the correct way of moving that to the left, especially when we're moving into space, okay? Um, so this is the incorrect answer. Um, the answer should be 0.014, okay? Because that is the correct way of moving a decimal into space, okay? It's just adding zeros in each of those cubby holes we create here, okay? Um, let's just go ahead and try decimals to percents, okay? So when I want to go from decimal to a percent, um, I am going to do the opposite of what I did last time. So I have 0.13, and I want to make a percent out of that. So instead of moving it two to the left, I am going to move it two to the right, okay? So here I go, one, two. Okay, the decimal point is now going to be here. So the percent would be um, 13%. So 0.13 is really just 13%. Let's we'll just try one more. Um, say for example, I got 1.43 as my decimal. What is that in terms of a percent? Move it two to the right, one, or this way. I'm, I keep forgetting that I'm mirrored, so I always wanna say this is to the right and this is to the left, when in reality this is the right and this is the left. Confusing, huh? Yeah, webcams, who created those suckers? Anyway, so 1.43 um, is really just 143%, okay? Um, now, 
for the most part, that's all the only skill you're really going to need to know is just to go from percents to decimals and decimals to percent. Um, last thing I want to do is just talk about percents in terms of a problem um, and why we want to learn how to pretty much make those decimals. Okay, so say for example, we are we're at a store and uh, we can go ahead and say, hey, this t shirt is 50% off of $20. Okay. Um, so how do I go ahead and do that problem? So say for example, I have 50% and I want to take 50% of let's say $20. Now most people will pretty much be smart enough to know that well that's just half of 20 that's 10 okay but how do I do that in terms of just actual math okay so first of all we can't use percents um, with numbers okay they just don't work that's why we have to convert them to decimals okay so 50% of 20 that of is just a fancy word for the word multiplication okay it's just how we say it in English okay we don't usually say 50% times 20 is the amount you owe it's they usually say 50% of 20 okay um, so that just means multiply and again we wouldn't say 50 times 20 is going to give us the right answer because we know again it's just half of 20 it should be 10 um, so we need to create 50% into a decimal so to go into decimal form again think of where the decimal point is move it two to the left because we are again going from percents to decimals and that will tell us where um, oopsies um, where the heck the decimal place should be so 0.50 is technically 50 percent all right now we can actually do the problem um, 0.5 times 20 is going to just be 10 okay um, and that's just another thing that you might be asked to do with percents and decimals okay um, so hopefully that was informative for you and hopefully you have all your answers questioned or questions answered. <gasps> all right. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.